Wake up and focus. I wonder if you ever considered that you only have one life to live. I wonder if you have the courage to be exactly who you were called to be. I wonder if you understand that you can do anything if only you believe it. I wonder if anyone told you that you can be a leader, a trendsetter, the innovator of that brand new whatever that's not here yet, but that's only because you didn't introduce it yet. I wonder if you realize that your life's purpose is bigger than you and that it's ready to be awakened and make its mark in history. Are you awake yet? But what if, what if there's a place for you? A place, a place where you can dream higher, dream bigger, where your dreams and your future collide with God's vision and direction, where thinking and doing go hand in hand with innovation, where professors are more like mentors and guides, where generosity is contagious. And if you catch it, you might just change the world, y'all. There is a place where real faith-filled community allows you to know and be fully known, where faith is filled to the brim, so full it can wash away your doubts, where servant leaders of the next generation are grown, where your story can be written and change the course of history in that place, that place, Southern Wesleyan University. So it's time to wake up. You only have one life to live. Cause this is not a drill. This is not about cliches, shallow taglines, or some inspirational quote for you to tweet, snap, pin, or post. No, this is where snooze buttons are frozen. Alarm clocks are broken. Where feet hit the floor cause dreams are now woken. This is it. Awaken your dreams. Awaken your soul. Awaken your purpose. This, Southern Wesleyan University. South Carolina. Students are just starting to gather back here as the tip off between these two teams start out. It has been a good season overall so far for the Braves. Not quite the same story for the Warriors as they've started out slowly, but with two conference wins under their belt, hoping to get a third today. 
working the ball around, getting warmed up, getting loose, starting lineup on the court. Brittany Mack will take the first shot and a good one to start out the Warriors for two. Nia McManus was taking the ball down the court and has the ball now. Stolen by Brittany Mack. Mack with no outlets, gonna take it herself. And taken away by McManus. And the Braves are on the board. Courtney Smith, who's somebody we will be keeping an eye on today for the Braves. Number four is Brooke Hendricks. We'll pass off to Mack as the Braves begin to run the press early on. 2-2 at the start here. And a foul call. There's a little bit of a trip. Got hung up there, Lillian Plantos. On Tristan Berry. So Mack takes the ball out. Outside shot from Berry, and good for three. Allie Newberry and Fontos fighting for the lane. And Manis looks outside. That's a two-point attempt and just missed from Clark. Missed again, rebound by Glantz. So good start for the Warriors defensively and offensively. Working it back around to Berry. Newberry on the outside. Hendricks driving, loses it. Here's Clark. Looking down to Hall and a good layup from Hall around Glantz. Good control in the air. We're excited you guys are here with us to start this 2023 section of the basketball season, even though we're at the halfway point somewhat. It's fun to watch the Warriors play in 2022. Brittany Mack coming over the top of McManus for the good rebound. Shaking her head in confidence. Looks like a good matchup between McManus and Mack. Here's Clark. Can't get it to go. Tristan Newberry looking for somewhere to go down into Hendricks and stolen by McManus. Stolen back again, Newberry hangs on to control. Paul just let it get away from her. She was trying to pass in. Hendricks trying to work the ball around, glance out on the court. Newberry who can Move the ball forward and shoot from the outside. Calling for it. Newberry. Step back. Just missed. Rebound by McManus. Warriors holding good defense, but something happened on the outside. Maybe a call on Hendricks. As some subs will begin to come in for each team. Alexis Griffin on the court. We haven't seen her in a while. Excited to have her back on the court for the Warriors. Cornell in for Pembroke. Smith driving on Griffin. They're going to call the foul. 
on number 11 for the Warriors. Pass just misses. Rebound, Griffin. Looking down to Mack. Trying to transition. Barry on the outside, passing around. Glover. Outside glance. Good for three. Shelby Glance, along with Brittany Mack, one of the leading scorers tandem for the Warriors. And off to a good start, 10-4 is the Warriors, but a great drive from Courtney Smith. Just walked it right in. Alexis Griffin, who's been acting almost as an assistant coach in a way uh, during the time that she has not been able to play due to injury. And there's Glance again with another field goal. 13-6 now, Warriors. Really good start for John Davis's squad. Rebound from Glance, who is the leading rebounder for the Warriors. Glover. And the shot is good. So the Warriors taking advantage of the three points three in a row. And that is potentially one of the best starts I've seen for the Warriors so far this season in terms of shooting. Really, really accurate today. And that's going to be great for them. And doing really good on the defensive side as well. Keeping Pembroke, for the most part, from being able to score quickly. 16 to 6 with 326 left to go in the first quarter. We almost had another national anthem situation there. <laughs> Everybody's just coming back from Christmas break. The production crew here has upped the game in a big way. Ryan Macarin making it happen. Macarin McCarron. One of the two. We just call him Big Rye around here. <laughs> 16 to six, good start for the Warriors. So far here at this two o'clock game. Join us again in a little while here on Conference Carolina's Digital Network as the men's game will come up at 4 p.m. Side shot misses from Russell. Griffin, the ball handler, looking to transition out to Glance again. Misses the three. Inside to Russell, around Glance off the glass for the score. 16-8. Possession will go back to the Braves. 
There's 2.32 actually in the quarter right now. We're working on our uh, graphic clock, getting that lined up here. And there's a travel on Clark. So 2.18 left to go in this quarter. Doing a good job moving the ball around, but that's just stolen. Clark, just gonna take it herself. No foul, no charge, and Russell with the offensive rebound. Braves back within six. Hendricks off the glass, and a foul call.
Carolinas. Life, things aren't scripted. If you're an athlete, we need people like you and translate those skills to officiate. You can get a lot out of it. It happens in every town, in every game. We never have a perfect game, but the rewards always outweigh the negativities. Welcome in to the Conference Carolinas Digital Network SWU Basketball. We apologize for the first half if you weren't able to see it. And that's a shame because we've got a great game going on here starting the first half. One point lead for the Warriors, 35-34. Both teams have just been back and forth the entire game. And it's been quite a fight. So we're excited to join for the second half of play as McManus passes to Clark, who drives outside shot and just misses from Courtney Smith. And Courtney Smith will go to the line for the Braves to tie things up. And does with the first shot. And a chance to take the lead. And misses, but has one more shot at it. And makes it to give the Braves back a one point lead. Now in the press. Tristan Berry, Shelby Glantz working the ball down the court. Brittany Mack had a great first half. Allie Newberry. And Hendricks on the right side of the court. And a deep shot from Shelby Glantz and that's off the back of the rim. Pembroke comes down with it. Here's McManus. Courtney Smith on the outside calling for the ball back to Clark. Clark just misses. Glance with the rebound. Outside shooting for the Warriors in the first half was really good overall. Here's 
Here's the inbound for Mack. Newberry. High pass, good catch. And then a fight for the ball. Hendricks fighting Flantos on the floor. Possession will go to the Braves. Good movement for the Braves and a hard hit as Clark gets the rebound and the score. Mack working the ball around Hendricks wide open and good. 38-37. Smith works around the lane. In 40-37 is the score. Pin broke up. Barry trying to get the ball down court. Newberry drives in, good. One point game. Braves up 40-39. And this is how it's been throughout the course of the game. Back and forth, back and forth. Leads traded. Warriors were able to get a big lead at the very beginning of the game, but that went away. 42-39 now. Barry outside, Hendricks off the front of the rim. And the pass a little too deep from McManus to Hall. And Glover will come back into the game in place of Newberry. Shelby Glantz, no, Glover will have the inbound. Tristan Berry, finger roll, glance, came down with it, could not hold on to it. Here's Clark, and good. Forty-four thirty-nine, and both coaches. Yelling to try to find out what happened here as Alexis Griffin will come back on the court. In the first half, we talked about Alexis Griffin coming back onto the court, onto the team now after uh, rehabbing her knee. Provided some good energy here for the Warriors. Number 11 for the Warriors. Here's number 11 with the ball for the Braves, Clark. Turns and spins, but Shelby Glantz blocks it. Here's Smith. Gets her own rebound, and here's Griffin. Quick handoff down low under, and it's going to be a jump ball. Possession goes to the Braves.
So 44-39 with 4.52 on the clock here in the third quarter. It's been a battle back and forth. You're watching Conference Carolina's Digital Network, SWU Basketball. Life, things aren't scripted. If you're an athlete, we need people like you and translate those skills to officiate. You can get a lot out of it. It happens in every town, in every game. We never have a perfect game, but the rewards always outweigh the negativities. Take the ball down the court. 44 39, the score. Swoo basketball. It's been back and forth with Zaria Clark. Has been a major impact for the Braves today. Here's Glover, and uh, they're going to call the foul on Fontos. And she will trade out with Russell. Inbound from the Warriors. Greffin fighting her way through traffic. Barry on the outside glance. Shot. Good. Three point. 46 42. Lance had four three point shots in the first half. And a good layup from Hall. Greffin takes the ball down the court. Outside shot from Barry. Misses the rim. Purnell from the free throw line misses. Rebound Mack. Griffin, outside shot. Just off the front of the rim. Inside to Russell, guarded by Glance. Open shot. Rebound collected, that's Hall. And Barry, able to reconnect. As Caroline Reese and Brooke Hendricks will come back on to the court for the Warriors. Garrison McManus back on the court for the Braves. 48-42. Braves are up. Mack with nowhere to go down low. Lance, turn around. Griffin fighting to come in, and they're going to call a foul on Alexis Griffin. Hey, 
John Haskins, the coach for UNC Pembroke in his 19th season. Here's Russell off glance. They're going to give the ball to the Warriors. Good defense from Shelby Glance. Coach John Davis is the coach for the Warriors in his 13th season. Both coaches coaching hard today as it has been a very close game with leads traded back and forth. Here's Purnell, outside shot, good. 51-42, minute and a half left to go in the third quarter. Shelby Glantz, outside shot, just missed. Not able to get them to drop in the way that they did in the first half so far. Good defense from Glantz, no foul. Russell off the glass for a good score. Brittany Mack throws up a prayer and it is answered. 53-44. That could be the jam of the game right there. The jam moment of the game, potentially. Pretty good play. No look layup. 53-44. Garrison outside, good. As the Braves start to pull away. Mack, outside, Hendricks, off the back of the rim. Purnell with the rebound, against the baseline, and that's the end of the third quarter, 56-44. Not as strong of a half for the Warriors as they've had the rest early on in the first half, but a good half, uh, quarter rather, for the Braves. 56-44 with one quarter left to go you're watching conference carolina's digital on the swoo sports network we'll be back to gameplay in just a moment play 56 44 strong lead for UNC Pembroke uh, strongest of the day really rather uh, Alexis Griffin misses with nothing but air on that one McManus Purnell open shot top of the key and it's good Good sign for USC Pembroke in the sense they are heating up. Not good for the Warriors. Here's Barry. Outside shot, Carolyn Reese. Good. 
from the corner. That was needed for them, 59-47. They're wanting to climb back in here in the last 10 minutes. Russell misses on the outside. Mack will come back in in place of Griffin. And the inbound at the baseline. Courtney Smith. As the referees try to figure out what's happening, make sure that everything is uh, called correctly. Fifty-nine forty-seven, thumbs up means everything is great. All right. Purnell to Russell, picked off by Barry. Nowhere to go with it. Sets up the offense. Carolyn Reese, Newberry outside shot. So close. Rebound by Garrison. Outside shot from Smith, and it is good. Wide open. High impact player for UNC Pembroke, Courtney Smith, today. Reese sidesteps, misses on the shot. Russell with the rebound, Purnell, and back to McManus to reset. 62-47. Is the score. And Smith goes down hard. Caught up in the traffic. And Shelby Glantz will come back in in place of Allie Newberry. And Alexis Griffin will come back in place of Reese. Cornell, jumper, and good. Good defense from Courtney Smith. Little push off from Barry, nothing called. Bernie Mack, outside shot, good. For three. Bring it back within a 14 point game at this point, 7-22. And uh, the jam moment of the game will be coming up here shortly. Look forward to seeing that. Be presented by a live Wesleyan church. Hard fought game back and forth. But one of the great plays we have seen, what we would call the jam moment of the game, what we've been looking for so far, came from Brittany Mack. My name is Wes Pate. Glad to be here with you. So, Brittany Mack throws up a prayer, and it is answered in the air. Praising the Lord. Look at that, the way it went down. <laughs> Brittany Mack with some magical shots. 
And it's going to take a few more yet for the Warriors to get back in this as they continue to fight here at historic Tysinger. 64-50. The score, and there's Russell Garrison with the rebound. Back to McManus. Purnell right under the defense of Shelby Glantz, and she has made a major impact in the third quarter and fourth quarter start, 66-50. Brittany Mack just misses. She's made some great shots today. But that did not go. 66-50 with 6.20 on the clock. Garrison, three-point attempt, made her last, missed that one. Shelby Glantz goes to the ground. Griffin passing around the top of the perimeter, and they're going to have to have some three-point shots. Here's Shelby Glantz. Best opportunity for that. Good fighting for Hendricks, who goes down hard against the pad on the wall. Gets back up, luckily. Looks like she's okay. Garrison will come in in place of Clark for the Braves. Inbound from Brittany Mack. Glance on the outside again, Hendricks. And for Barry, 15 on the shot clock. And a push down from Russell. Warriors ball. Barry almost getting tripped up again. Throws it up, gets the foul. Coach Haskins not happy with that call or not happy with the play, one of the two. Walks down to the end of the bench, cools off, resets. Here's Barry at the line. This is the first. Gets the second. 66-51. Purnell getting pressed over to Russell. McManus able to reset the offense for the Braves. Glover and Russell fighting in the middle of the court. Outside shot, McManus just off the rim. Griffin comes and they're gonna call a foul. Uh, reach around from Courtney Smith. Tried to make the steal, but hit the arm of Alexis Griffin, 66-51. They're gonna call a timeout. 66-51, 4.59 left to go in the game. You are watching SWU basketball. Coming up next on Conference Carolina's digital network is the men's game of the same teams, UNC Pembroke, Southern Wesleyan University. So we hope you'll stick around for that. This one has been a fight and uh, still a little bit of time left on the clock. See if the Warriors can climb back in it. But uh, the tail of the tape has been 
UNC Pembroke in the second half. Um, Alencia Purnell has been uh, one of the big highlights. Courtney Smith as well, uh, just making good shots and good defense, able to get a lot of rebounds. Um, Brittany Mack in the first half able to drop a lot of three points. Shelby Glantz dropping three points, but we have seen them just near misses here overall in the second half. So we'll see if they can find their perimeter shooting here at the end of the Good replay, good pass there from Brittany Mack, who's been solid overall, as she usually is. Warriors have possession after the timeout. Barry. Griffin loses the control of the ball, but manages to just get it over to Glover, who makes the save and gets the foul and the point. So 66-53, and Glover will go to the line. That was needed as Clark will come out and Malaya Garrison will come in for UNC Pembroke. Glover at the line. Makes one for the extra. 66-54. Hendricks, good defense on the baseline. Warriors playing press. McManus, very speedy ball handler. Couldn't get it to Russell in the middle. 14 on the shot clock. Garrison driving, finger roll, and good. Warriors working around the perimeter. Griffin, that's a two point. Misses. Brittany Mack. Colliding in the air with Courtney Smith, both going for the ball. Shelby Glance will check back in in place of Hendricks. Outside shot from Mack. Good. Bringing the crowd back into it a little bit. 68, 57, 343 on the clock. McManus into Russell, has to send it back out to Smith, back to Russell. Left-handed. And that's a solid up for Hannah Russell, who has also had some impact here for sure during the game, defensively and offensively. 70-57 with 319 to go. Rebound. Replay, rather. There was a shot from Brittany Mack, who has... Been really fantastic on the outside corners today, shooting um, from both ends of the court. But when she's on that far outside wing, her shots have been on. Rebound, replay, you know. They all start with re. Um, here's the... Coming out of the break, Glover inbound. Brittany Mack guarded by McManus. (laughs) 
Mack looked like she wanted to take a shot. Barry, 10 on the shot clock. Outside Shelby Glance, just too deep on the rim. Foul call on Barry. And that sends the ball to the inbound with Hall. Two fifty to go in the game. Jumper from Smith. Russell trying to rebound. UNC Pembroke wants possession. Quick discussion, quick con convo from the refs. A lot of volume in their ears. And they will give it to the Braves out of bounds. Greffin defending. Hall with the inbound. Looks to Garrison. Play comes in from the coach. McManus reset. Mack defending hard. Gets the steal. But it goes out of bounds. Back to the Braves. Good defense from Brittany Mack. Quick hands. So 70-57 is the score. Tail of the game has been big lead in the first quarter for the Warriors. Lead was diminished and it's been close ever since until the end of the third where UNC Pembroke Take, took control of the game and has managed to keep that ever since. But a long stoppage in play. Coach is just going to use it as an opportunity to talk to players if... Uh, They're just allowing the stoppage. Coming up next on Conference Carolina's Digital Network SWU Basketball, SWU Men's Basketball versus UNC Pembroke from historic Ty Singer. to resume play now. Hall with the pass in. And passes it. Intended for Russell, but right overhead she wasn't looking and Glance comes down with it. Warriors, Barry throws it up. And that almost was a new jam of the week right there. Uh, <laughs> new jam moment, but it did miss. Foul called 
I believe on Smith, and that was in Barry to the line. 2.14 is the official time on the clock. Barry makes the first. And makes them both. 70-59. Hendricks will come in in place of Glantz. the score. McManus. Change the score to 59. Inbound from Hall. Braves playing for time now. And they're going to call a travel on Russell. Who says she did not take two steps. Glantz will come in in place of Glover and be responsible for the inbound. 140 on the clock. Outside shot, Tristan Berry. Long, but handled by Glantz. Glantz with a turnaround jumper. Got it to roll. 70-61. 70-61. They wanted to travel. Nothing called. Garrison outrunning Griffin. Ball will go to the Warriors through possession. Barry almost tripped up outside Mac. Barry gets it back again after Hendricks is able to pull it out of the dog pile. Outside shot from Glance off the side of the rim. Under a minute to go now. Shot clock is on at 25. And a foul. Inbound just under the camera here. Courtney Smith. He's had a great game today. Purnell had a great game. Foul by Barry. As the Warriors attempt to keep the clock stopped, that'll send Purnell to the line. This is the first. Makes the second. 10 point lead for UNC Pembroke, 71, 61. 37 seconds on the clock. Hendricks driving, outside shot, glance in the corner, good. No shot clock now, no foul given yet. There's Purnell, there's a foul. Mack, John Davis, the coach of SWU wanted the foul to be called earlier. 
knowing that Purnell is a good free throw shooter. And she makes the first, 72-64, 20.9 on the clock. And makes the second. Here's Mack. And Purnell gets a foul, 14 seconds. That'll send Tristan Berry to the line. Makes the first. UNC Pembroke. If they continue to lead and win the game, this will be their sixth conference win. Foul given from Griffin to Garrison. This is the first. You can see Pembroke leads Garrison at the line, pulls the rest of the players back for defense. She makes the second, and they'll talk about this real quick as there is still potential for the Warriors to. Close this gap, 74-66. Few opportunities in the second half for Shelby Glant. She's made a few, missed a few from the outside, but overall great shooting day for her. Brittany Mack, same, same thing. Good scoring opportunities, hard fought game. Very evenly matched for both teams on the court. And a lot of season left to go. So 13.1 second on the clock. Mack with the inbound. Barry, outside shot, three point attempt, misses. Griffin recovers it, she's smothered. Just throws it up to Mack. And that's the game. 74-66 is the final score. UNC Pembroke comes away with the W on that one. Hard fought, well fought by both teams. Coming up next, Conference Carolina's digital SWU basketball is Southern Wesleyan University versus UNC Pembroke men's game. See you back in about 25 minutes. <laughs> 